Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story. Today's episode is titled, Pregnant Wife Cheated on Me. Me, 28 male, and my wife, 30 female, have been married for four and a half years and have a beautiful little girl. Who's three? Last year, we bought a house which came with a massive amount of stress due to being put through hell by the solicitors we were dealing with. Documents upon documents required, information requested we had already sent, being ghosted by them until we sat on hold with them for hours waiting to speak to someone. Each time telling us a different thing. It was a tough time, but at long last, we got a house we both loved and would be amazing for our little one. We tried for a second child a few months after moving in, but it just wasn't happening. My wife began to worry that we couldn't conceive a second as the first one had been so quick after trying only a month. I had some reservations about a second child so soon after the stress of moving I was trying to get a better job at the time so we could be more stable. I told her this, and she got really upset thinking if we didn't try now, we would never conceive. I relented as I saw how much it meant to her, and I did want a second child, so we tried. Months rolled on until eventually, she fell pregnant. It was great as she was immensely happy, but I had a nagging dread of responsibility that if I didn't get a better job soon, we would struggle with two children. I locked myself away for a few months participating in online courses to try and get the skills needed to move into a different career path, something we had discussed, and she seemed to be on board with. During this time, we did drift apart as I only saw her for a few hours a night at dinner, and then I would go upstairs to study on the courses. We grew distant and didn't really interact all that much. We still had a decent amount of sex for a married couple, at least once a week, oftentimes more. Fast forward three months, and we have a talk saying, I think we've grown a part of it and that we weren't like the oldest. Things got a bit robotic with me trying to learn and study ASAP, to get a new job with the baby on the way. We agreed we needed to take more time out for each other as things had gotten a bit stale between us. We spoke more from that point onward, and she mentions how happy she is at work with her team. One guy in particular, she seems to mention more than anyone else in her stories. She changes almost overnight. Suddenly, she starts doing things she wouldn't usually do. She is on her phone almost constantly taking baths every single day immediately after work shaving her legs routinely, and really going to town on makeup and moisturizer. I questioned her about it at the time. She responded that because she was getting bigger, she wanted to look after herself more and feel a bit better about herself. I bought it. Understandable, right? She is getting worried about being bigger, so I thought that it was a good thing she was doing these small things that made her feel good about herself. It was other things as well. Small things that gave me the idea that things weren't as they appeared. Staying later after work. Wanting me to go upstairs earlier at night to put our daughter to bed. Things like that. Still, I didn't suspect anything and trusted her 100%. One day out of the blue, she asked if it was okay to go away for the night to see an old school friend she hadn't seen in a long time. I said, sure. That's fine. It would be great for her to catch up. It didn't even enter my mind that she was having an affair with a guy from work or anywhere for that matter. A week or so later, my mother-in-law visits and tells a story of her friend who was going through a divorce. Her friend had found texts on her husband's phone, that he was having an affair. My mother-in-law, I discussed how awful it must be, and that we couldn't imagine getting to a stage where we felt the need to check our partner's phones. I looked at my wife during this conversation and for the tiniest split second, saw a flash of unease, and fear wash over her face. Then it was gone in a blink, and the conversation continued. That was when I started adding things up. I didn't actually believe she had done anything. But there was something in the back of my mind that was nagging at me. As I connected the dots, I became more and more concerned. After she had gone to bed, when I would usually be studying, I walked into the bedroom and it was like I caught her in the middle of something. She was in bed and had pulled the covers right up to her chin quickly as they entered. I asked if she was okay, had a small chat about a few things and kissed her goodnight. My mind was now on red alert. 
I knew her password from when we got together originally. I logged into her social media accounts on my computer back in my study, and what I saw was worse than I could have imagined. They had been sending videos of each other masturbating and talking dirty for the last week. She had been doing it when she went to bed, and I was studying after I'd put our child to bed. The conversations had made it clear they had been having sex at work, and even had sex in her house whilst I was working. I also found out he was almost 20 years older than her and had a wife and two kids of his own. She had been doing things with him that she would never do with me sexually. He would give her assignments each morning on what to wear, how to talk to him, etc., and she was absolutely loving it. She suggested they book a hotel away as she couldn't bear the thought of being away from him and would say she was meeting up with an old school friend. The messages seemed to indicate that she was pushing things further and further and was planning around our schedule to get in quick screws wherever she could. Pure adrenaline rushed through me as I saved everything I could from those conversations, and I slept next to my daughter that night. I didn't actually sleep. I just kinda laid there. Thinking and crying. She left for work in the morning, and I didn't say anything. It was hard to do, but I didn't really know what to say. She got all dolled up and was happy as can be as she left that morning, and it crushed me. I had planned to confront her when she got home. My mother-in-law came to collect our daughter as she looked after her whilst we were both at work, and I broke down and told her everything. She was extremely sympathetic and disappointed. My wife came home and knew she had been found out. I vented and wanted to know why. Why had she done this? Was the baby mine? Does she love this other person? Does she want to stay together? So many questions. Initially, she didn't say anything and wouldn't answer my questions. She just looked at the floor, zoning out, thinking. After ranting for a while, I asked if she could actually talk to me as staring at the floor was not what I needed from her right now. She swore had only been in the last week that things between them had escalated sexually, which lines up with the messages they had been sending that I had saved. She said she didn't love this guy and that it was a stupid mistake. She claimed she wasn't thinking. It was nothing to do with me and that she still loved me. I had done nothing wrong. It was just an escape from what had become a monotonous life. She blamed the hormones. She said she hadn't been well mentally for a while. I didn't know what to do. I went for a walk and I contacted my mother who lives far away from us. She was understanding and said I had to think about things carefully as there was still our daughter our unborn child to think about. I vented to my mother and went back. Despite everything, I still love my wife. I wanted to be together to go back to the way things were before we got the house. In the interest of maybe salvaging our marriage and the kids, I didn't tell anyone else anything. She stayed at my mother-in-law's house that night with our daughter so I could get some headspace, but it did little to ease my pain. I wanted to be with her. I called her and said I missed her. She said the same. The next night, we had sex, and it was like nothing had happened. I felt like I needed to reclaim what had been taken for me, so I was the one who initiated it. We decided that we did love each other. And although it was going to take time, things would be rough for a while. I just wanted to see what would happen when the baby was born. I couldn't give up so easily. I just asked her to be 100% honest with me from now on. She went back to work and said she had moved offices away from him. She claimed that they had spoken, and she had told him that her family was the most important thing to her and that they could no longer carry on. He asked her if that was what she truly wanted, and she reiterated it to him. So we both went back to work which at first was horrible. I would come home in a different mood every day. Sometimes angry, sometimes crying, sometimes okay. I started trying to study less and spend more time with her watching TV, reading with her next to me, getting up with her in the mornings to say goodbye instead of staying asleep. It wasn't to make sure she wasn't still messaging him. It was because I had realized that this is what I wanted, to be normal again. I started going to the gym eating healthier, and looking after myself more. We had good days and bad, taking our daughter on outings and playing with her, more sex here and there. Her parents paid for us all to go away to a spot, which was nice. After a few weeks, 
I was slowly but surely believing more and more that this could work. I felt some good could actually come out of that whole situation. Last week, she said she had to go away on a business trip on a day she doesn't usually work. I said that was pretty irregular, and I would obviously be a bit worried. She had asked a friend to take our daughter whilst we were both at work instead of her mother-in-law. This was also unusual. I expressed my concern and asked her if she was using this opportunity to meet up with him again. She said, no, and gave him the time and location she would be on the day to ease my mind. By this time, things had been going pretty well, although it was still extremely early, about three weeks since D-Day. I went to work that day, dreading I'd be worried sick. Surprisingly, I was fine. It was actually the first normal day I had experienced at that point. I saw how much she said she wanted us to be together, how upset she had been, how much better I felt in such a short amount of time, I believed her. Then she called me on my lunch, said things had been cancelled at work, and she was coming home early. I asked if she wanted to grab one so she would be in the same area as my work by that time. She said, no. She just wanted to go home as her back was hurting due to the pregnancy. Now five months in. I said, okay, and concentrated on work. I asked her how her day was when she got home, and she said work had been boring and not very eventful. We went to sleep, but I woke up in the middle of the night. I kept thinking how odd it was that she had gone away that day and then come back so early. To stop the madness going on in my brain. I checked her phone and it showed that she hadn't been where she said she had been. She woke up to me fidgeting with anxiousness, and I confronted her. She denied she had seen him again. I pointed out all the evidence and she eventually admitted it. She said they had cleared the air and they both agreed they wanted to focus on their families and nothing else was going to happen between them. She said they had just talked about what had happened and to get some closure. She hadn't spoken to him at work very much at all since D-Day, and she wanted to close the case. I argued that she had set up an elaborate lie, still lied when she knew I had figured it out and had refused point-blank when I asked if she was going to see him that day. She said she went to his house, but did not go inside. They went to a local cafe and got some coffee and just walked around the park talking for an hour or two. I pulled up a picture of a random cafe on my phone which was nowhere near the location she said she was at. I asked if that was the one they had been to. She said, yes, that was the one. Another lie. I told her that the cafe was nowhere near where she said she was, and she got angry and defensive. She said, I wasn't paying attention. It was all just a bit of a blur. It's not proof I'm lying. I'm telling the truth. Nothing happened. In the morning as one last test, I said that she would have to prove it. I asked her if she would message the guy saying, I feel much better after you yesterday. You? This way, if he replies with something harmless and in line with what she had told me, then it could be true. If, however, he mentions that they had sex again or replies with anything dirty, the game would be up. She refused. I tried to take her phone off of the bedside table saying I would send it if she wouldn't. She went mad and screamed at me while snatching her phone away. She then began typing on it furiously. This to me was as good as a confession. She said she lied to me again about where she was because she thought I would leave if I found out she wanted to talk to him again. This was yesterday, and I haven't really slept in 36 hours. We have agreed for her to stay at her mother's house tonight. I have no idea what to do. There are more details, but I have been typing for a while. I just can't believe that she is pregnant with my child. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's mine and is still hanging around this guy. I'm mentally ruined. Time for the community's reaction. First up, Sane Tracker. Sorry for this mess she has caused you. There is no way she just stopped talking to him at work after the affair was revealed. Honestly, the only way you can blow this up and nuke it would be filing for divorce and having the paper served to her at work. This guy's wife needs to know. Friends need to know. Don't let her blame this on hormones either just because you file for divorce doesn't mean you can't withdraw it. She needs to realize what she has done and the consequences of her actions. 
and her going to get coffee and walk around for two hours. My wife had four kids and at five months pregnant, wasn't walking around the park for a couple of hours ever. Another lie. You can't believe a thing she is telling you now because she is in the affair fog. Nobody can tell you to leave and divorce her, but I would definitely get a paternity test in order for both born and unborn child. Sorry, but I can feel your desperate cry for help in this crappy situation, and the woman who you thought was your wife is far from the one she portrayed to you. Good luck, OP Ops response. Thank you. It feels cathartic to write it all down. I have very little in way of a support network with no real family or friends to confide in, so I have bottled it up and tried to carry on. Our life together has made it so there are more of her friends and family we see regularly than mine. I feel kind of isolated and alone. I don't begrudge this. It just is what it is, and it sucks when things like this happen. I'm just fearful of there being no going back if I do blow it up. I don't want to make any rash decisions. If people find out, I'm not sure we will be able to be together. Everything will change, and I'm afraid it will be irreversible. Same trigger responds back. Honestly, it should be her that is fearful of things being irreversible. And if by revealing who she really is and what she has done is going to make her leave the marriage, then that is a house built upon a sandy foundation that was always going to fall. Our next comment comes from Shines. If you were the other wife, you would want to know. I don't think it is fair not to tell her. He is putting her at risk as well, and she deserves to know. I wish someone had told me. Hope he's response. Yes. I have come to terms that I am most definitely going to tell his wife. Mr. Niz chimes in. Very commendable. I mean that. Don't dwell on it. Just get it done. There is no need to be insensitive. Just explain the rough outline of what has been going on at work with her husband and your wife. Provide your phone number if she has questions. It is important that you actually talk to her as her husband might be in intercept mode now. If she wants proof, send pictures of her beloved spouse masturbating to your wife. Apologize for adding her to her troubles, but say this is the only ethical right choice, and you would hope she would do the same thing for you. Trade spouses make incredible allies for comparing timelines together. You sound like a good chap. You can handle it. London Girl 19911 says, I feel like you're a very thoughtful and caring person. I mean, you wanted to reconcile the moment she cheated. I also feel like this is a detriment to your situation because she is clearly taking advantage of you and thinks you would always take her back if she screws up. There are no real stakes here if you don't do something to show her how serious this is because she will continue to walk all over you, file for divorce, and start planning your finances. Don't think you can ever trust her again. She'll just get better at hiding. Oh. P's response? Thank you. It's just scary. You know? I moved out with her, and I have never lived alone before. I am scared of being part-time dad. I don't want the baby to grow up and see me as the one who left. Especially because her family will insist on the kids staying with her. I just don't know if I have the fight in me to battle them all alone. Our next comment is from Henry's My Agent. He has a plan. You know what to do, but it's difficult. 1. Tell her boyfriend's wife he is having an affair with your wife. 2. Tell HR at her job that her boss is using company funds to pay for their affair. 3. Begin the divorce immediately. 4. DNA test the fetus. 5. DNA test your daughter. She lies and gaslights you. When caught, she lies some more. Millions of women get pregnant every year and manage to not screw their boss. Hormones are a weak excuse for her low morals and bad character. Your wife screwed her boss because she chose to. She chose to lie and gaslight you to keep the affair going. The mistake you made was to forgive her too quickly without any effort on her part to fix what she selfishly destroyed. Reconciliation is a gift from the retreat to the cheater. She does not deserve it so take it away from her and kick her out. Make her earn it. 
You have only seen regret from being caught not genuine remorse for breaking your heart and soul, and you will never get any remorse from her until she feels the pain she has inflicted upon you. Tell everyone what she did. Tell her your friends, family, acquaintances, neighbors, and especially her co-workers how she screwed her boss. If you not tell the truth about her, then she will definitely lie about you. Until she feels some consequences for betraying you and your family, then she will keep screwing around. She fired you as your husband so you were no longer obligated to shield her from her stupid actions or to keep her shameful secrets.